Today we're reading two different decodable readers. Hunt on Planet Zagnon and Shelley and the Saga of the Ship That Sank. Decodable readers are ones that you could read all by yourself after you've learned certain phonics skills. These books are for sale on Amazon, so if you would like a copy, I will put the link in the description where you can go find both books if you'd like to purchase them and read them all by yourself at your home. I hope you enjoy the story. This is a decodable storybook, so you can read by yourself as long as you know some simple phonics rules. Mermaid has pink hair. You ever seen a mermaid with pink hair? A decodable reader. A decodable reader only uses words that you have already learned to decode. This is the best way to build young readers confidence through success. This book contains beginning reader skills with simple phonics. The reader should know the following phonics. All consonant and vowel sounds, digraph sounds, welded sounds, blends, and the open and closed rule which tells you whether to use a short or a long vowel sound. Here you can see, you can practice before you start reading the book yourself just to make sure you know all these words before you start. Introduction. Shelly is a mermaid who loves to explore. In this story, she sees a shipwreck in a storm and has to make a decision about what to do with the gold she finds. And that's Shelly. This is the point you could actually read by yourself. Shelly sang a song as Drops dripped from the sky at sunset. She got wet as she sat on the rocks. She wants to see the ships go by. She's sitting there in the sunset just looking off at the ships. <gasps> and then what happens? A storm comes. Shelly sees the big ship rock to and fro in the wild wind. A bolt from the sky blasts the ship. <gasps> you see the lightning striking the ship? Oh no, I wonder what's going to happen. The, the ship runs into a big rock with a crash. <gasps> oh no, that's not good. What's going to happen? This is the end, the men yell. They don't look very happy. They look scared. Snap, crack, pop, splash. That doesn't sound good. The men grab lots of gold and jump off the ship as it sinks. You think they'll be able to swim holding all that heavy gold? I hope so. The ship sank into the depths and landed in the sand. That's scary. Oh, thank goodness. The men will be okay. They swam to land. Oh, they're all right. They don't look very happy, but they're all right. Shelly felt glad that the men got to land. She's so happy. She's out swimming again. A big fish swam up to Shelly and said, A box of gold landed on the sand. She swam to get the gold. That's exciting. What will she do? With all that gold, send it to mom and dad, send it back to the men, what would you do? Well, she found all that gold. Should she keep it for herself or should she give it back to the people it belonged to to begin with? 
that's a tough decision. And think about it yourself and think about what you would do. That's the end of the book. Good job reading with me. I look forward to seeing you next time. Bye-bye.